Welcome to the channel. I'm Pony Russo. If it's your first time that you're visiting my channel, please remember to subscribe to my channel. In this video today, I'm disassembling this type of desktop. This is uh, an HP Pro Desk 600GTWR desktop. So, the first thing you are going to do is to remove the sideboard. So you can see this now the inside of the system unit. So after removing the the sideboard, you carefully observe the cables and the connection. So the next thing you disconnect the drives available. So the first cable that I've disconnected is on my SATA cable. See again, this is another SATA cable going to the hard drive, so we disconnect the cables. There you go. So, the third thing the first thing was removing the sideboard, then again, remove the cables after I have started them. So the third thing you're going to do is the removing the drives, the hard drives. So this is my hard drive here. So I just pull this point here and remove it. So as you can see, this is now my hard disk. These are one TB. As I again disassembled another machine. Later in my video, I'll give the link in, my, in the description. So after removing the hard drives, so you go. These are the hard drives. So this is now my DVD drive. Though in this small size, so it depends the system units and the features. So the first thing you do, you remove the random access memory. Memory sticks. So this is now the random access memory. 4 GB. This is 4 GB hard disk. The 4 4 GB RAM. So in my case, I'm, I'm having two RAM sticks over here. So this is the first 4 GB. And that are. Uh, Four hundred four gigabytes. So, so the fifth thing that we're going to do is now remove the side fan. At this point, so remove the side fan. So this is the side fan. Remove the side fan. Then here. This again. Let's go here. So again, it's connected to the motherboard. Make sure you unpin it from the motherboard. There you go. So this is my side fan. As you can see, it's very clean. So this again helps in cooling the system. So now the other thing that you have to remove is now my sub power supply. So you go on and remove the power supply. So in removing the power supply, make sure you disconnect uh, any connection, the motherboard. So there you go. Disconnect all of them. Then at this point now. These are the connection and the power supply. So you go on and remove the power supply.
place the screw, screws in the, at the right place so that it can get lost. So So guys, as you can see, this is now my post supply. Now remaining with the motherboard. So you are remaining the motherboard inside here. So this is my motherboard. Removing the motherboard. Make sure you disconnect all the connections to the motherboard before removing it. So talking of the motherboard. This is the, now the main chip here, sorry the main board of the, of the computer and all the other parts, all the other gadgets, both the external, internal and the processing are all connected to the motherboard. So you go on and remove the, these nuts carefully. Carefully remove the nuts. And so disassembling now means that you are removing everything to be independent. So and this is our system unit. And so as you can define a system unit, system a system is a connection. Of independent entities that can be connected together to perform a specific function for example the input and output and processing and even storage so that's now the computer system so it contains of independent items for example that ones of uh, input again output processing and storage they work together make up a computer and so there's no my motherboard down here as you can see so just gonna remove it this point so now this uh, CPU fan the CPU fan down here then you have the thermal first another CPU so this one that I'm removing now is the it's now the CPU fan and the heat sink they both help in cooling the CPU So as you can see now, this is the heatsink and this is the CPU fan. As you can see, you must keep it clean because dust may interfere with the processing of the system and uh, it may disrupt the functioning of the system. So this is now the heatsink. So this is my motherboard here. Take it off carefully. So this is my motherboard and down here now this is what you're talking of. This is the main this is the processor. So this is the central processing unit, the CPU. CPU is just a chipset here. This is the this is now our central processing unit the side so as you can see there we have uh, the heat sink and the CPU fan so the CPU fan the heat sink and the thermal paste help in cooling the CPU because the CPU gets heated up when the processing of the information continues so as you can see on my motherboard this is now the position where the CPU was originally stored this point here it's now the position of the CPU just return it to its socket 
so this is the CPU over here this is now the CMOS CMOS battery here I have the this is now my RAM slots slot number one slot two slot three slot four so depending the manufacturer and the model of your motherboard other motherboards have two RAM slots so these are the SATA ports this now the leads to the front panel USB front panel audio over here this is the connection from the motherboard sorry from the power supply again this side so these are the expansion slots so you can extend the network interface card from these points to one depend on the compatibility of your system so this is now the back, back panel this is now the back side of my system it's the system unit so this point is the connection to the system these are port these are ps2 port these are these are usb port these are ethernet port for network so these are the one these are hdmi also used for display these are now H, another uh, HDMI port so this is now the VGA port again this is another video port so the difference between the two now depends these are the one this is the father this is the mother so it depends the connection to your systems so again these are the uh, USB ports this is now the audio audio in audio out ports and so this is now the CMOS part the button you can clear the CMOS again at this point you can see this is now the jumper this is now the jumper to reset the password that's the uh, motherboard motherboard now is the central parts of the computer which connects all both the all the inputs output processing and storage devices In, for example this now the goes to the hard disk with the storage device so this now the output is now video video that's the output so the motherboard links all of them it's now the processor which processes the system so this motherboard still houses the cpu again you have the input network or maybe usb and so that's all about the uh, disassembly so make sure that you place the motherboard at a very nice place at a set place maybe use the aluminium foil or anything gold that may prevent oxidation so these are the parts of the system the remaining ones these cables the front panel the back panel and the other slots and just move them so this is not the the finest wire and don't i don't mean that all your computers must be the same as this but you can disassemble them depending the organization of your system unit so right away you just return the system so the first thing i've done is disassemb disassembling the machine so the second thing after after disassembling you now assemble so assembling you tap the motherboard so carefully send the motherboard so there you go so the motherboard is back make sure that it's fit the to its position so now return the nuts so now return the, the CPU form so you must carefully return it depending the look at this point here this now links the CPU the CPU form to the motherboard so you must pin it at the right point here 
So there you go. Then fix it at this point. So return the CPU, then the CPU form. So the CPU form and the heat sink together with the thermal press help in cooling of the CPU. So sometimes we find that uh, this CPU fan is noisy. This is as a result of uh, too much dust, the CPU fan. Then maybe the thermal paste has dried out. So now the CPU fan needs to, to work a lot in order to cool the system. So we turn this other connections just follow the same order as the way you disassembled so that the same same way now assembling so as you can see this other part so you need to read carefully start them study the point that you're returning the cable because the motherboard Sorry, on the motherboard, it's already indicated for you, so make sure you don't mess up. So, so we done the side one. So, as I'm saying, make sure you return the things the right the correct point so it's not the fun so make sure you do it wisely turn it the the correct so you turn the side pan so this is now my side pan turn to the its correct point There you go. So we're done with that. So we return the random access memory. So the the correct way just place it in a straight man. Be careful not to break the RAM stick. Again. So this is how we do it. So that's now the RAM. We're done. So the other step you have to do to return now the power supply. So this is my power supply. We have to fix it. So that's my power supply. Return it. Its position. So this is the connection to the motherboard, like right there. Then this connects to this point. This one connects to this point here. So we now have to return the drives, the hard drives. So first we need to connect this cable. This now is the one powering the drives. So we 
done the DVD drive. Turn the hard disk. connect the SATA cables so connect, in connecting the SATA cables you have the SATA ports and the SATA number so this is my master hard disk so connect it to SATA 0 then this other the DVD drive connected to SATA 1 so this normal connection to the disk so say connect connect this to the hard disk now let's connect to this, the hard disk so as you can see in this PC now everything is well set and uh, you can now proceed in using it so the sideboard Thanks for watching. If you have a question, just comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.